Brahms the Boy 2 is directed by William Brembell and it stars Katie Holmes, Owen Yalman, and Christopher Convery. To make this clear, this is not uh, a, this is not like a direct sequel or anything like that. It's a standalone sequel to the 2016 uh, film uh, The Boy. A movie that I did not see in theaters that I get, uh, that, that I didn't get a chance to uh, watch, but I did. We, but I did listen uh, and seen, I have seen uh, critics, you know, their reviews of the movie and they all said that the movie was alright, you know, it was average, it wasn't good, it wasn't great, it's just plain average. There was some success, like maybe a tiny, some, a small success from the first boy, the boy movie, um, so they made a sequel, I guess. Oh, oh, sorry, a standalone sequel. The plot follows a young boy who, after moving into a mansion with his parents following a, tra a traumatizing incident, finds a lifelike doll he becomes attached to and is named, and he, uh, is named Brahms. The best way I can describe Brahms the Boy 2 is it's boring. And I thought Gretel and Hansel um, had a lot of waking up from a nightmare scene, but this movie <laughs> This movie can take the cake you go it can go wide ahead and take the cake because this movie has a lot of nightmare scenes um, You know characters sleeping Katie Holmes sleeping and then she's waking up and she's waking from she's waking up from a nightmare or you know something similar to that oh, and of course because this is a horror movie, I mean, what horror movie isn't complete? You know, a horror movie is, isn't complete without jump scares. I mean, it has to have jump scares. No, it doesn't. But it has to have, it has to have jump scares. So, of course, this movie has jump scares. I, 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 just, I just really wish that there's going to be a year or there's going to be a time in the future where horror movies are never are gonna 100% stop doing the fucking jump scare. Stop doing it. It's a lazy gimmick. It's a lazy trope. It's cliche as hell. And I just, I'm praying to God to that to to stop this jump scare fest because it doesn't work. In like every horror movie, this. There's like a jump scares in every movie, and there's a there's a plenty of jump scares in this movie, but yeah, highly likely it's never gonna happen. I haven't seen the first the boy movie, uh, but I like I said I did watch um, critics, you know, their reviews of the movie, but that was a while back. That was like yeah, that was a while back, and I don't re really remember. But, and I don't even think they mention it, but and if you want to talk about dolls, Chucky is a better doll, <laughs> is a better doll than Brahms. This, the doll, Brahms, the, the doll in this movie has nothing. There's nothing about the doll that scared me, that terrified me, that, that haunted me or whatever, whatever word you want to choose. There's nothing about it. It's just a boring, lifeless doll that I don't give a shit about. When it comes to performances, I mean, Katie, uh, Katie and Owen, you know, they're, they're just playing parents. You know, Katie, she's playing the mom. She's playing a mom. Owen is playing the dad. Um, and they're just, they're just playing parents. There's like, there's no develop, there's no character development. They're just two parents who are very worried and very cautious about their son being, you know, being strangely attracted to this doll and trying to find a way to separate the two. Just trying to keep their son safe. That's it. That's basically their characters. There's no, there's no character development. There's no backstory to these parents or any of these characters. It's just, you know, it's just parents who are very worried about their son. And I cannot believe that this movie has research scenes. <laughs> oh my god. And I thought the Bye Bye Man had a bunch of research scenes. No, this one, this one has a lot more. 
that's, uh, <laughs> Katie Holmes. I'm sorry, but I'm I'm gonna. Spo it's this is not a spoiler. This is like a very small spoiler. But anyway, I'm gonna say it. Katie Holmes. She's on her laptop and she's doing some research about the origin of of the doll. You know, of Brahms the doll and. You know, they're like, it links to these other families in the past. There's, it's just, it's not interesting at all. The thing that saves this movie um, is Katie Holmes. Because Katie Holmes, she's a great actress. I love Katie Holmes. Um, and, you know, her performance, you know, even, you know, in this her performance is the light in the darkness if you know what I if you know what I mean like she her performance is very entertaining in this very dull and boring movie so with all that out of the way I'm gonna give bombs the boy to a D let me know it well, actually don't watch it don't don't watch bombs the boy Two. go watch uh, the invisible man if you want to watch a like like a spooky horror thriller movie whatever um go watch the invisible man don't watch this movie thank you so much for taking the time and watching my movie review like comment subscribe share this video with your friends and family and i will see you in my next video